Morning all, it's seven minutes past nine and three minutes ago my parts got delivered so uh, I'm a little bit later getting away than I wanted to be and I'm being a little bit optimistic today. I'm gonna go and do that um, drive shaft seal on that loading shovel and then I'm hopefully gonna get caught up with a DX10 that's got a, from what he said it was a burst ram on the bucket so um i've got a ram and everything in the back of the van for that but yeah it's the way down south cumbria so it's it now nine o'clock i'll be doing well to be at my first job for half past ten i think i'm hoping i'll have that finished and done it should just be a seal shouldn't it it shouldn't take much doing is what i'm hoping I'm hoping I'll be finished that by lunchtime, one o'clock. An hour to the next job, two o'clock. An hour on that, three o'clock, and then I'll be two hours home, five o'clock. That's the plan. Let's see how we go at that. I'll uh, I'll see you further on down the road. Well, we were just shy of two hours getting here. Road works and caravans and just general bank holiday traffic. Anyway, hopefully this thing will come apart as it should. I'll get that seal off. I'll uh, lift the arm up. Da, da, da. Lift the arm up, tip the bucket over, drain off the axle oil. And then I'll put those chocks in as well, stop the machine rolling back. Not that it will, because it's held on there, but uh, better to be safe than sorry. Whew, right. Right, that's my axle oil out of it. It doesn't actually look that bad now, but it's definitely damp but it'd been running that morning and when I took the level bung out it wasn't uh, wasn't on the bung so uh, what am I going to need in here then Whew. 19 mil and uh, scraper clean off round about it hopefully that shaft slides back nicely yeah fingers crossed it's uh the nut that holds that yoke on there that's the bit i'm most nervous about trying to break off and there's a special tool which i've got from castle douglas hq all right we'll see if these bolts are going to come away nicely well, I fully expected to need to try and get that kind of situated in here some way, somehow, but I'll just try it with my 36mm spanner. Beautiful. Pull that special nut off there now and uh, do the seal, hopefully. Well, I won't be putting that one back in, will I? That's the old one. Out of there. Happy days. That has gone rather well. Better than expected. I mean, putting it back together might be a different story because when I put that yoke on, one of those splines, I need to get the right spline. Otherwise, the shaft won't marry up. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Should have marked it with a pen. But I was just that busy chatting away to the fella here and I just, and I didn't. Anyway, it won't be the end of the world. I just need to get that new seal in. Gently, 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 because I can't put a socket over it. I can't put a socket over it because can't swing a hammer because of that shaft. 
taking that shaft off and out of the way just another big part of the job so anyway i'll uh, crawl out from under here get the new seal yeah happy days so i've cleaned all this up i've checked this surface here which is what the seal runs on uh, for any abrasions there's nothing it's it's clean like so that's good uh, I've got the new seal out the packet here something this is the first time I've done front axle seal uh, on one of these shovels um, I was talking to my colleague that's done one and he said to look at the seal it looks like it doesn't matter which way up it goes but if you look there's a little dimple here and that's to go at the top and apparently that is a built-in apparently it's a built-in breather and um, so yeah that must go to the top when i install that new seal i ordered a new nut as well just in case we had issues trying to get this off and um, there's probably nothing wrong with that but because i've got a new seal uh, a new nut i'm going to use it anyway um, so what i'm going to do is just uh, put a bit of oil or Vaseline around here and gently tap it into pa 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 gently tap it into place and then start to reassemble. 20 past 12 now so if I get this done in the next 40 minutes I'll be happy beyond time. So yeah I'll get my head down and crack on. Job done. I've just got to climb out of this from under here. Oh. That wasn't too bad, in actual fact. What I'll do now is I'll get my oil pumping into here and I'll come back under and grease everything up, clean everything up, make sure it's nice and clean looking so if it does leak again we know it's fresh. I don't know what time it is actually, I did just look at my phone. Three minutes past one, we're doing well. We're doing well. Alright, let's get out from under here. Hell's fire. There we go then. And that has finished that. I've greased the drive shafts, oil's in the axle. Uh, what I'll do is I'll run it around for 10 minutes around the yard and then park it up and just make sure it's not leaking. Good. Today is going well. Today is a good day. One more job to do today. I like. Hopefully. So I'm at this little DX10. Uh, I've come to replace this ram because it's leaking around this bit here. So I've got. Well, I ordered a ram, um, but the scent pipes as well. I didn't ask for I remember the parts man phoning me and telling me some sort of a story. I can't just remember what the crack was now. I don't know. I'll get it all out and work out what's, what the crack is, what the score is. Do you know, it's really nice when stuff just comes apart. Didn't even need to get a hammer out to do that. Needed a hammer for this one, but... Just a gentle tap. Very refreshing to come to something. And it just comes apart like it should. No anger. Still don't know what the difference between that ram and the other ram is and why they sent them other bits. Uh... Okay, so I've had a bit look through that stuff and it looks like 
When you get the ram, you also get one rubber pipe that goes all the way back to the valve chest. You also get that little metal pipe down there that loops up the way. Don't know why you need that like. Anyway, I'm not gonna change the pipe. There's no wrong with the pipe. Get these caps off. Swap bits and pieces over. There's grease nipples to swap and bits like that. Get that one started in there. All oh, my hands are clean. Lovely. Right, I'll have this dog job jobbed in about 15, 20 minutes, hopefully. There we go. More jobs like that, please. More jobs like all the jobs that I've had today. It's gone well. I'm going to grease it up, run it, and check the hydraulic oil level, and that'll be us heading home, hopefully. Thought it'd be a bit overkill. I forgot my pump out just to pump. Turned out it was only one litre that I needed. I was tempted. Get the Milwaukee pump out for pumping the oil into it. Oh, go in there. Right. Winning. Put this in my lab bin. Ugh. Okay. I think that's it. Be about three o'clock now, so it's a good. We're getting on towards two hours to get back, but I'll um, get sorted out for tomorrow. I haven't decided. Oh yes, I've got a DX19 to go to in the morning, and then I've got a fella to phone back. Uh, fella, fella to phone back from today because he was on the phone. I told him to try X, Y, and Z. So we'll see if he's got away, and that might be the afternoon. It's going well. Anyway, that's all the jobs down South Cumbria, rounded up for the time being. Good. Hey, it's warm back up here at Carlisle. It is warm. Loaded up for tomorrow, so I've got a parcel to drop with uh, our Straven depot, which if you don't know where Straven is, it's just south of Glasgow. That kind of points in the direction of where I'm going. That might give away what I'm going to be doing. Yep. Didn't take long for this good weather to throw us a air conditioning fault. Um, there's a new shape, 85, and the air conditioning doesn't appear to be working. And it's just south of Edinburgh, and uh, there's a couple of lads up at HQ on holiday and I was asked if I could assist. Aircon. You know my thoughts and feelings on aircon jobs. But we'll tackle that tomorrow. Hopefully it just needs regassed. I did once come across it was the old shape 85. Um, it was a new machine and it didn't have any gas in it. So I'm hoping that it's just a case of gassing it up. And there's no faults to try and find. Hopefully. Well, that'll be tomorrow. We'll tackle that in the morning. So, I have a local job just outside of Carlisle, a DX19 to go to, and then uh, straight up the motorway to Edinburgh. Puts the day in, I suppose. <laughs> right, see you in the morning. Good morning. I'm just at this DX19. I've just finished, actually, to be honest with you. Um, customer complaint was the machine was tracking off to one side um, and I've had it before on these 19s these adjustment screws here are just ever so slightly out so I've just tweaked them a bit and ran up and down a couple of times and done some tweaking and it's away now so levers all the way in the back position are nice and level same in the forward position nice and level I just adjusted them up nice easy job to start the day the worst thing about the job was pulling this front rubber out because oh it takes some doing it does anyway get this thrown back together and I need to get on the road up to Edinburgh right parts meet done 10 to 12 there's the parts van from Glasgow Um, yeah turns out it was uh, one of me or somebody that looks 
watches my videos was after those parts and he was after them on Monday our parts man at Carlisle's off for the week um, and then I had a frantic few phone calls yesterday afternoon asking if I'd seen any uh, any packages that should have been sent to Straven um, and I said there was something on the desk when I went in yesterday morning um, but I'm sure it had been there for the last Oh, certainly the back end of last week I saw it floating about. But anyway, it's been all good to get this part to Straven Depot. Anyway, it's worked out alright because they said to us yesterday afternoon, have you got any jobs up this way? I said no, and then half an hour later, my boss phoned at HQ asking if I could do a job up at Edinburgh. So I phoned the back and says, as it goes, I've got a job to do in Edinburgh, so I'll do a meet up with you. It all works out in the end, but unfortunately it's like two days late. But likely that part that we had at Carlisle was the only part in Europe. So, yeah. Right, uh, probably another 45 minutes, an hour, and I'll be at this air conditioning job. Let's see what the sat nav says. doesn't know where I am, it's absolutely baffled look. Right, we'll crack on. So I've made it to my little new shape, DX85, and I've just been running it there with the temperature uh, set to low with the air conditioning on. Um, been running it for 10 minutes, so we'll see what the temperature in the cab is now. Yeah, so you can see there, it's sat at about 20, degrees and it's not a cold air that's coming out of it the air conditioning's on but I'm not hearing the compressor clicking in um, so we'll go around and have a look and uh, see what we can see so I've got my gauges on you can see that the pressures are zero and I'm plugged into here I've noticed it's a bit damp around the bottom of here so I'll pull this off and make sure there's an o-ring there uh, then I'll pull a vacuum, make sure it holds a vacuum for 40 minutes or so, and then I'll recharge the air conditioning. See what happens. Like I say, I have come across it before on a new machine where it's just not had any gas in it, and it's been right ever since, so we'll just see what happens. You can see the seal's a little bit nipped, and that pipe there that goes into the compressor. I've got a new one. Go and put that on and run a vacuum and see if that's cured it. Don't think we'll get any air conditioning complaints now. That's for sure. But say five degrees would be cold enough to sit in. Probably have to open the window to let some heat in. Right, there is another job to do on the way back. Um, 14 tonne, just 20 minutes north of Carlisle, just off the motorway, so I'll go and have a look at it and I'll tell you more about it when I get there because I don't know an awful lot. Sorted. It was something or nothing with that machine and uh, whew. <laughs> I've come away with more jobs to do with that machine than there was to do with it. The uh, fellow was complaining about controllability, that it was, but he said, these Doosons are quite sharp and jerky. He says, well, they are quick, but how sharp and jerky do you mean? And he says, well, it's just when you change direction, I jumped on it, had a go, and part accumulator needed for it. <laughs> the air conditioning wasn't working in it. So I phoned my boss to see if they wanted it doing, because uh, obviously I've got the aircon gear on the van. But apparently there's another machine in the opposite direction to where I want to be going, but it's only 15 minutes up there that needs doing first. So go and get that done. And then if they want that doing, I'll know by the time I finish that one. But uh, yeah, it's about quite far now, so I'll make tracks up that way now. Right then, last job of the day, DX300-5. I was told to pop in and recharge the aircon on this machine and I just opened this door just to see where the recharge points were. I spotted this in the condenser and the nuts missing so 
I'll replace that seal and find a nut for that. And then we'll draw a vacuum and recharge the aircon in this. The re recharge points are in a bit of an awkward bit in the back of the engine, but at least there's an obvious problem with it. Just need to find a nut now, and that could be the sticking point. Right, I've had that box tipped out onto the floor, that box tipped out onto the floor. There's no M6 nuts in there. I have had my little bits and pieces. Normally this is like M8 and below, but it's kind of got a bit contaminated. Nothing in there, so I was beginning to think, right, what can I rob an M6 bolt off? But, oh, I've just pulled the drawer out, it's due there, that ain't good. Anyway, found one in there. That is gonna do the job for us. Don't lose that, it's probably the only M6 bolt I've got on the, uh, nut that I've got on the van. <clears throat> I know what I'm getting put on the van tomorrow morning. So I've replaced the seal down there, as you've just seen. I've got my pipes connected down here to my uh, connection points. I am now pulling a vacuum. See how it's in the green there? We're gonna let it vacuum for about 20 minutes, half an hour. And then at that point, we'll put the gas bottle on it and it should draw that gas in, about 850 grams. I didn't really show you this earlier on because it was a busy site, there was a lot going on and I just wanted to be in and out of there to be fair. So here's an even better chance to show you. Second aircon job of the year. <laughs> so while that pulls a vacuum, I'm gonna stand here and <laughs> put my nuts and bolts and washers back in the right place. Oh Lord. So it's vac vacuumed now for about half an hour, 40 minutes. I've put the gas bottle on and what I'm going to do next is I've opened the tap on the gas bottle I need to purge the air out of this line so we'll just flick that gently do it one handed come on there we go so that is refrigerant now just in this line then we need to go and start the machine up turn the air conditioning on and then we open those taps and we need to measure out 850 grams. So what's that gonna be? 18.75, something like that, 18.750. I think that air conditioning pump's knackered because it's not clicking in. And even when I click the pressure switch over, it's still not clicking in. Maybe it needs the air conditioning. That's why it won't click in. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. That's stupid, isn't it? Look. Why wasn't that clicked in? Is it? Oh, God. Yeah, that's why it won't click in. <laughs> well, not the air conditioning compressor's plugged in. Let's see if it'll draw the rest of the... It's only taken 450 grams, which I don't think is enough to pull the compressor in. So I'm hoping now that the compressor will engage and it'll pull the rest of the... pull the rest of it through. Let's see what happens. What's that going, Yodel? I've just been down to the cab there, it's definitely working now. <laughs> Thank God for that. Wait, I need to pack up and go home. Well, that's him away back to work. He'll be happy because he can drive that machine with his windows and doors shut and he can peck stone all day long in a nice climate controlled cab. That sounds good. Um, yeah, I'm just looking there. When my van was parked, granted it was parked in the sun, but I just pulled away there. 29 degrees it was reading, but it's 23 now that I've started moving. But uh, yeah, it would be hot just sitting, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know, you've got no airflow with a digger. At least if the aircon goes in a tractor 
or a dumper you can open the doors and there's some sort of airflow I suppose anyway uh, it's been a productive few days just thinking about it there 420 shovel DX10 DX19 DX85 DX140 and a 300 all ticked off the list I like it right I'll wind the video up at that for today um, like I say a good bit of variety surely that's worth a like if you haven't already hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one